Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Ashim. This is today's alternative deadlift session and my back traps and biceps workout, my pull day. So I start off the workout with uh, the, the the deadlift variation of band resisted deadlifts. These are APTs, number two bands. They're quad looped for this set. The first few reps are not locked out, so that, so that's why they're not counted. The last two reps are locked out, so therefore they are counted. And um, this is a very, I love this exercise. It's been a long time since I've done these. I've, ever since I hurt my back, we've been not, I've not been very confident uh, on whether or not I can go get back to this. Keep in mind that these are quad looped, not, uh, well, they're double looped, but they're quad bands because uh, they're four, well, as you can see, um, I should have probably taken a close up of this. But if one, if there's one line on the, one strap on the uh, barbell, that's a single and if they're two, that's a double. Three is triple, and four is quad. So this is quad. This last set, however, is a double. And you guys can see that there are two. Uh, it's been halved, so that's why the tension is a little less and the weight is a little more. It was a very difficult set. Not not this one. The previous two. I was. I'm being very conservative. I'm not really pushing myself this week. So it's not. There's not a whole lot of volume that I spent on this exercise. I did a I did a lot of warm up sets though because I wasn't quite sure what to do. So there were I think five warm up sets with just the fifteen kilo plates that you see. Um, before I, I added before I made any changes by adding any weight. Um, these are deloaded barbell rows, four sets of twelve reps. Again, I'm working on that volume. The way I figure is that apart from actual deadlift days and the alter and the alternative deadlift uh, sets, no one nothing else should be really heavy. Everything should be high reps and uh, yeah, and easier for me to recover from. These are dumbbell rows. I took for 44 pounds. It's 20 kilos and I'm not counting, as I mentioned before, I'm not counting the weight of the bar, that tiny little uh, dumbbell rod because I don't know what that weight is. But whatever that weight is, uh, it's not being counted and it's 20 kilos added to the bar, which is for two sets of 20 reps. So I think it's around 4-5 kilos. That's how much the, the rod weighs. So, so, so this I'm I'm listing it down as 44 pounds, but it's probably in effect close to 50, 55, which is uh, pretty good after doing all this volume work, you know, for back to be able to put up this, this type of high volume stuff. I'm gonna get that full range of motion. Each rep is locked out and done completely. My dog is most curious, and Nemo is his name is Nemo, and Nemo is walking around in the background, wanting to know what is. Uh, Big brother is up to. <laughs> After doing all this back stuff, I moved on to traps. Uh, these are banded upright rows. Again, number one bands from APT. I actually have a funny story about APT. When I first moved to the US, I was very, very uh, price conscious and APT had a very nice scheme going on. I think they had a 20% discount, life discount or something like that that they've put, that they had put at the time in 2006. And I was very, very scared about the exchange rate and you know, as as a foreign exchange student, I'm sure some of you who have been uh, students from abroad who have gone to the U.S. to study, you tend to count the dollars very, very closely because you know how much money in your own currency has been spent uh, for that e equivalent dollar. So I was very upset and nervous, and I wrote an email to the author, uh, sorry, not the author, to the owner of the site, whose name is Alan Thomas. I wrote an email to, the, to Alan saying that, uh, sir, can you please extend the sale by 15 days because I'm going to be getting some payment from my family and um, I, I, and I'd like it if I would really appreciate it if you could wait till then and uh, what he did is he was so kind he just sent me chalk and bands that I wanted that I was going to order for he just sent it to me for free and I think that was one of the nicest things he got a customer for life there ever since he I think I must have spent from from 2006 to now I have easily spent Maybe seven hundred, eight hundred dollars. No, at least at least eight hundred dollars on uh, at APT. So he 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 probably spent less than twenty twenty five dollars on me at the time. But the fact that he he did that means that I'm very very loyal to them. All right, these are uh, biceps. Oh, by the way, for the for the shrugs I'm holding, which you guys saw the video of, I'm I'm using a wide grip just to uh, minimize elbow flexion. But the thing is, when you hold the barbell that wide. It doesn't really matter whether or not my biceps take in, come into effect or whatever. It's gonna, I'm gonna feel it on my traps directly. The load is uh, distributed in that in that manner. Preacher curls, which which you guys are watching right now, I am pausing at the bottom a little, uh, building the tension. Normally, what I do is I do one of those 
I do barbell curls, then I do preacher curls, and then I do reverse bar- reverse barbell curls. But that's been confusing me, and uh, it's been extremely difficult to progress. So that's why I've shifted to preacher curls uh, being first. That way, I, I really, really isolate each arm and hit that really hard. So three sets of each, and that's I think this is a total of ninety reps just for my biceps. But this was done in like ten minutes, five ten minutes. There was not much rest between the between each superset circuit type thing. There was, it was just everything was back to back. And uh, barbell curls are cool. I think I'm gonna get a small EZ bar made, so easy bar, so I can do uh, some tricep extensions and plus some curls again. I think that would be really good. These reverse curls are awesome. I wanted to hammer curls, but one of the one of my dumbbell handles is being repaired right now. All this all this final tweaking for the home gym. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. Really appreciate your love and support. Thank you very much.